a question, just go ahead and raise your hand. Yeah, let's start with James. Dan, I just wanted a, a personnel update in terms of now that it's uh, uh, obviously no longer paused activities, but Jalen, is he back and ready to go? And what's uh, Will's status as it was right around now that was the, the six-week marker at the time? Will, <laughs> our, our uh, available players for, for Saturday, um, might as well just get everybody uh, up to date here. Um, Jalen will be playing. Uh, he has practiced uh, the last uh, couple days. Um, we were on a pause and uh, no practice, no activity, um, nobody in the gym for, uh, until Monday. Um, and so, uh, but Jalen is back and uh, has gone through all the protocols. So he's ready to go. Um, will will not play. Um, I'm not sure, James, how much longer um, that'll be, but we will not rush that. Um, he does have the cast off. He is going through therapy, uh, but he is not ready to go. Uh, so I'm not sure uh, how much longer that'll be, uh, but it definitely won't be Saturday. And then uh, Chris Duarte and LJ uh, will not play Saturday. Um, they are still in protocol. Um, and so those two guys, uh, will be out. Greg, you're on mute. Yeah. Okay. Dan, is there any other information you can divulge for us on how the, the pause came about and, you know, just some of the details of that, or is that stuff that you got to keep under wraps? You know, I don't know what <laughs> this first time we've been through it, Chris, you know, we, we were fortunate. Jalen was the only one who had missed games because of, of, uh, uh the COVID. Um, and so I, you know, this first time we went through it, Chris, so, you know, I just don't know what information I can give. Um, you know, I just, obviously when, when Chris and LJ aren't playing on Saturday, you know, so I'm just answering those questions now, but, uh, um, other than that, you know, we just started practice on Monday and, uh, we've been at it and, you know, trying to work the guys back slowly after a, a long layoff. All right, go ahead, Julian. Dana, how, how much do you anticipate that layoff affecting the rhythm of the guys? I don't know, you know, um, you know, practices have been okay. Um, you know, we just, we've got to figure out a way to, to get a rotation, you know, with, with guys that uh, haven't played a lot of minutes for us are all obviously going to have to step in, you know, uh, we've got 12 scholarship athletes, but uh, four of them are out. Uh, when you think of Dante and Will and Chris and LJ, so uh, we'll have eight scholarship. We got some good walk-ons. Uh, Gabe's ready to go. Will's ready to go. We got some, you know, Luke's been here. So, um, you know, we've got guys that are ready to go. Um, Eddie's missed a few practices, uh, just being under the weather, no COVID related, just being under the weather a little bit. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll have 12 guys in uniform and, you know, we'll, we'll play. Julian, did you have a follow up there? Yeah, I was just going to ask, uh, what makes Oregon state so dangerous? They seem to be turning a corner as of late. They really have played well. You know, their last two games, uh, you know, they've, they've played really well. Uh, a little rusty against Arizona, but, uh, you know, and they won in different fashions, you know, beating Arizona State 80-79 uh, and, and then playing a grind game with, with USC in the 50s. Uh, so they won different ways. They are playing. They are playing good. And, uh you know, they can hit three, you know, 36%, I believe, as a team. And, uh, you know, got some guys that can get it going from three. So they're playing good. They've got, you know, a lot of guys. They, they're playing 10 guys quite regularly. And so, um, you know, their depth, 
you know, will be something we'll have to handle. Their ability to rebound, they got some bigs that, you know, are, are big guys, you know, so uh, be a tough game for us. There's no doubt about it. All right, let's go back to James and then Chris, go ahead and follow James. Dana, I realize obviously everybody would prefer to have their full lineups available. I mean, that goes without saying. Um, how, how do you go about replacing LJ and Chris in the lineup, given that you are so thin at the moment? I mean, is it, and it's not giving away much, it's just finite options. So is it Aaron and Jalen? Is it Aaron and uh, somebody like Will Johnson potentially? I mean, how, how do you go about it just in the short term? If it's hopefully just Saturday, how, how do you just get through the one game with, uh, with such a thin situation? Oh, we're still trying to figure it out, James. And I, you know, I don't have the answers yet. You know, we've, we've tried a lot of things in practice. Um, we still have today and tomorrow to, to try to put some things together. Um, but you know, everybody will be called upon there. There's no doubt. Um, we, you know, have been out a while. So conditioning and everything, I, I, you know, we're going to have to play the eight scholarship guys and we're going to have to, you know, uh, Frank's <laughs> only played a couple minutes in a game, but he's going to have to play. Luke War is going to have to play. Uh, Jalen's going to have to play, um, you know, and, and like I said, I think Will, Gabe, those Luke, those guys are ready to go. So James, it's, it's not an exact science and, you know, I'm not sure how we're going to approach it. Uh, I really, you know, I just, it's a different scenario than we're used to. Uh, so we'll, we'll get ready, but I told her guys, Hey, it is what it is. Every team in the country at some point in time has got to go through it. You know, so there are no excuses, no anything, just you go play. And uh, I hope our guys will take that attitude uh, and, and just go play. Only other thing I had, Dana, was uh, any indication yet as to how the uh, Arizona games will get made up at the two Arizona schools, if it'll be uh, on the back end with, with that trip, if you'll kind of front, uh, go to you know, double dip on the front end and back end, or if it's going to be the final week with OSU or how you're looking to do it just yet. They're, they're working on that, James. Um, you know, we've had some conversations, uh, nothing's been etched in stone, but, you know, they're looking at moving some games around, you know, to try to try to get those worked in. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure, you know, how it'll all work out, but, uh, definitely working on it. Yeah. Danny, you mentioned, uh, Frank, what did you think of his, his, uh, couple minutes against Utah and, and how have you seen him improving? this week? Well, he did all right. You know, I mean, he, he was active and, uh, you know, he's been practicing good. It's just so difficult, Chris, for, you know, a, a guy to work in, you know, coming at Christmas time, you know, and the guy's ball been around for a few months. It, it's just difficult, but he's handled it really well. Um, I love working with him. He tries to do everything the coaching staff asked him to do. He's really coachable, really easy to work with. Uh, I think he's really talented. I, I, I think he's got a big time future. Uh, it's just really hard to, you know, to make that adjustment so quickly. And, and especially, you know, he hasn't played for a long time. You know, they were shut down. So it's not like he played all summer and played all fall. Uh, he's been rusty. He's been out for a long time. So, um, but he's, he's really making an improvement in practice. Uh, we have no hesitation at all in putting him out there to play him. And, uh, you know, he's like I said, he's going to have to give us some minutes Saturday night. Let's go to Kate from KEZI. Coach, obviously, when it comes to playing Oregon State, they're in-state rivals. So there's a little bit of emotions playing in that game. But in this situation, you have two brothers on opposing teams playing one another. I was just curious what it's like for you when you coach players, maybe when they have someone really close on the other team or it's a family member and just how you kind of approach that. Well, uh, you know, Gabe's such a good young man. He's, he's really worked hard for us. And, uh, and I just told him not to be sharing the scouting report with his brother, you know, other than that, um, you know, I, I know we want to win. I know, you know, Gabe wants to win so he can go home, you know, it'd be a little tough on him if, if he doesn't, but, uh, no, I, you know, I haven't had many situations like this, you know, where, where brothers are playing against each other and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure that, uh, uh, you know, it's a special moment for Gabe and, 
like I said, I, I hope we come out on the right end so so he has bragging rights. Let's go to Matt Preen. Yeah, Dana, just how's been the, just the mental makeup of this team through the, the pause? And I guess how are, are, are Chris and LJ even just handling this right now? Are they in good spirits the best they can be? Well, they're down. No, no, the, I, you know, there's no other way to put it. I, you know, they're disappointed. Um, you know, they wanted to play and uh, we've, you know, I think we've, we've done a good job so far. Uh, you know, you, you start going over everything that could have caused, you know, uh, a, a thing like this, whether it's small locker rooms, uh, the plane, you know, what, what was it, you know, where it, it got started, but uh, you know, those guys are competitors. LJ and Chris, you know, they came here, they, they want to win, they want to play. And, uh, you know, it tore LJ up that first game against Missouri. He didn't get to play. And, and now he's, he's mad. Chris is upset. They, you know, they want to play. And, you know, especially when they're, you know, uh, they're, they're not sick, you know, it was asymptomatic and, you know, they're not sick. So, and any young man that's not feeling bad, they want to play. You know, so, uh, you know, they they're disappointed. And I told them that, you know, players all over the country, you know, are going through this. They're they're just, you know, something that I know it's hard to deal with in the present, but it's just one game. And, and hopefully they'll be back uh, next week. OK, any other questions for coach today? I think that's it then. Thank you, coach. Thanks, everyone. All righty.